Hello guys, welcome to Celebrity Lifestyle. If this is your first time of stopping by you are very much welcome. To support this channel please kindly subscribe and share. Do not forget to hit on the notification bell so as to get the latest updates. So let get right into it guys. After Gomez sent a struggling fan words of encouragement on Instagram, she screenshotted her message and shared it with her millions of followers. By me following you is not me saying it's okay to think these thoughts. It's not me saying hey you said sad things, so I'm going to follow you to make you feel better. God puts us in situations that are so unexplainably difficult for a reason. There is someone in the world feeling so much, just like you, she wrote in February 2015. People every day feel so many emotions they wish they could turn it off. But that's not why we are here. We are here for relationships, for people just like us who feel worthless. Your purpose is to share, help, encourage. Remember that. Please before you think of taking your life, think of all the lives you could save. I love you. More importantly there is a God that will love more than I ever could. In April 2016, the same old love songstress explained her decision to go to rehab years earlier. I got diagnosed with lupus. My mom had a very public miscarriage. So I had to cancel my tour. I needed time to just be okay, she told her. It's really frustrating because I am 100% allowed to have that, but I think people just want to have some sort of, I understand what you're asking. But I'm just saying, I don't think it really matters. My past seems to be way more fascinating for people than my future, which bums me out why do you care? Gomez revealed she was taking a step back from the public eye in August 2016 to cope with the side effects from lupus. As many of you know, around a year ago I revealed that I have lupus, an illness that can affect people in different ways. I've discovered that anxiety, panic attacks and depression can be side effects of lupus, which can present their own challenges, she said in a statement to Us Weekly. I want to be proactive and focus on maintaining my health and happiness and have decided that the best way forward is to take some time off. Thank you to all my fans for your support. You know how special you are to me, but I need to face this head-on to ensure I am doing everything possible to be my best. I know I am not alone, and by sharing this, I hope others will be encouraged to address their own issues. The Hands to Myself crooner made her first post-rehab appearance at the American Music Awards in November 2016. In 2014 this stage was actually the first time I was authentically 100% honest with all of you, a teary Gomez told the audience. I think it's safe to say most of you know a lot of my life, whether I liked it or not. I had to stop, because I had everything, and I was absolutely broken inside, and I kept it all together enough to where I would never let you down, but I kept it too much together to where I let myself down. I don't want to see your bodies on Instagram. I want to see what's in here," Gomez continued while pointing to her heart. I'm so grateful to be able to share what I love with people that I love. You guys are so damn loyal, but if you are broken you do not have to stay broken. Gomez shared an emotional message with fans on Thanksgiving Day in 2016, admitting it was her hardest but most rewarding year yet. I have finally fought the fight of not L being enough. I have only wanted to reflect the love you guys have given me for years and show how important it is to take care of you," she wrote. By grace through faith. Kindness always wins. I love you guys. God bless.